Hey everybody, how are you doing? So this vid is going to be a um, Osara vlog. Today is the 19th, it's Sunday, the day before Osara, and I have tons to do. I'm not prepared at all. I am a last minute fly by the seat of my pants kind of witch, um, which often, you know, comes back to bite me in the butt. So I am... <laughs> I've got to put up my Ostara altar. Um, I've got to um, write a small, simple ritual. There's loads of things I want to do. Um, I've got to choose what seeds I want to start. Oh gosh, I want to dye some eggs. Um, just to, I want to make some. I was in this live chat yesterday. Um, this video. Uh, they come on regular uh, Whimsy Meadows and Elder Brimstone, I believe it is. Gosh, I hope I'm not murdering that. I'm horrible about remembering people's YouTube channels. I will put a link to their channels below. Um, they, their focus on this um, live episode was Ostara. And um, they sh one of them, I can't remember who, showed um, like a little egg shaker that they had made. Just like a plastic egg. And they decoupaged it and put rice in it. I would love to do that. Um, I think that would be really cool. So we got tons of stuff to do today. Absolutely. Um, yeah. All right, everyone. I'm going to get started. I'm going to bring you with me. I hope. Um, sometimes these vlog videos take a life of their own. We will see um, where this leads us. All right. Be back soon. Bye. Hey everybody, so before I get started on all the Ostara things that I have to do today, I had to take a minute to do my daily draw, and I am using the, oh gosh, the name of it suddenly escaped me, The I think it's the Winged Enchantment Oracle, um, you can find it on Amazon, and it is very beautiful, I wanted in a giveaway, I think I've mentioned it before, um, it is my second favorite oracle of all time. Um, but anyway, I drew the bluebird, and isn't she gorgeous? So, I'm going to read you what it says. It says, I am bluebird, the freedom of inner peace. I am the joy of letting go. I am the serenity of acceptance. I am the flight of the heart when all is at ease. Life is tranquil now, or is bringing in calmer tides. Take a breath, enjoy the free air. You have earned the comfort of a sweet, well-timed repose. I am the transition into a better world. I am the gratitude of knowing the worst is over. I am life at its finest. We all need to confront the darkness in order to truly see the light. I am your passage of enlightenment and the break from all entanglements. There will always be discomforts and the heavy weight of time, but I am the gift of release and the playfulness of youth. There is something magical in freeing the soul. There is something dignified in spreading your wings. You are the resurgence of vitality. You are whimsical. You are carefree. You are bluebird. Isn't that beautiful? They're all like that. It is such an amazing oracle deck. If this looks like something that might resonate with you, I strongly suggest getting it. And I'm thinking about giving it away um, when I hit 600 subscribers. So maybe if you're interested in it, you could win it. Okay, guys, be back in a little bit. Hey, everybody. So I'm done. I was just going to give y'all a little look-see. Oh, I'm shaking the camera. Sorry. I'm using my phone. Um, here's a tree that I made for Witchcrafting, a collab channel that I'm part of. And the cat is out of the bag now. We are back on Witchcrafting. So... If you've never checked us out, please do so, and I'll leave a link below. Um, Miss Sterling started us off today. So I put this, um, this Ostara tree on my altar every year. I didn't really change my stones out. I felt led to leave them on there. I just cleansed them really well. Some seeds that I got from another gypsy soul. Some art I did of a spring goddess. Some candles there. 
I've got to move that plant so I don't start a fire. I'm an offering of some spring potpourri that I made. Um, those two eggs, um, the small one has a little hole so you can tuck like wishes in or whatever your goals are you're working on and the big one opens up, which I appreciate that so I can tuck all sorts of um, goodies in. This is a bird's nest I found. And I totally have to give props to Desert Siren for the idea of putting a bird's nest on your altar. Um, she came up with that and I asked her if I could um, do it too and she was kind enough to say yes. Um, let's see, a shell that is my son's I always keep on my altar. Um, I think I was showing y'all everything. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's about it. Um, there's a few stones right here. Yeah, and I left some space right here so I can put decks or, you know, whatever I'm working, if I'm doing a working or um, if I dye some eggs today, I'll have a little room to put those somewhere. So I've got some possibilities here at the end. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a little bit. Bye. Good morning, everybody. So happy Osara, Osara blessings to all of you. Hold on, I am shaking this phone. Okay, um, so it is the morning of Osara. It's kind of late. I overslept a little bit. I didn't get a whole lot done yesterday. I did the altar and um, I worked on a project for witchcrafting. And that's, that's pretty much all I got done magically, so to speak. Um, so this is my daily draw. This is from the Chicoli Oracle, and to me, the colors, um, the vibe of the whole Oracle deck just kind of scream spring to me, so that's why I chose this deck. Um, this card is all about minding your own business and um, not oversharing, and I'll be really honest with y'all, I have been guilty of both. I certainly strive to mind my own business, but I think sometimes... Um, even with the best of intentions, we can all certainly um, get drawn in, even if we're, um, you know, like, for example, if we're trying to help someone or give um, really good advice, that advice may not be wanted, um, you know, so I'm going to heed the warning today and probably, you know, all of this week and I'll strive to do it permanently but you know hey I'm only human so yeah so you'll notice um like the little Pinocchio figure his nose is you know right up in our business so I'm really going to um meditate about that and see you know what's going on with that in my life okay so um I have an star ritual to go tonight go to tonight I don't think um, everyone would want to be on film. I would actually, you know, it would take away from the ritual to be filming it for one. But just um, like before the ritual and afterwards, I would have to get everybody's permission. I'm not really comfortable to asking people that. But I will certainly have a chat with y'all after it's over with. Um, there's, I'm going to try to uh, do an Osara craft today with y'all dye some eggs or make an egg rattle, something like that. And I have loads of spring cleaning to do. So I will be back momentarily. All right. Bye, guys. Hey, everybody. So I have to be honest with y'all. It's totally the day after a star. <laughs> um, the day just kind of got away from me, as it often does. I um, tend to um, bite off more than I can chew and make my list super long and... Um, because of that, I only end up achieving maybe half of what I set out to do. <laughs> so I need to make smaller lists and um, give myself a break and um, maybe aim a, a tiny bit lower in my daily activities. But um, that's okay. I'm, I'm still I'm gonna pretend it's still a Stara and um, I'm going to start some seeds. Well, actually, I'm gonna prepare the um, little home for them. I will show you. 
So I totally got this off Pinterest. Um, you just get the um, eggs out and you want to leave enough room in the egg to um, have some dirt and a seed. And then when you're ready to plant, you just plant the whole eggshell in the pot. And so what I'm going to do is just prepare these, um, these eggs while I kind of chat with y'all. And, oh, I've got a chihuahua kind of crying, making weird sounds. But, um, Candy, are you okay? Like she's going to answer me. <laughs> okay. Um, so I've got six, and I'm what I'm going to do on the new moon, I was going to start them now, but then I was like, mm, I better wait till the new moon. So I'm going to be planting um, the lavender that another gypsy soul, Dana, sent and um so but i i can't you know i can't do like two egg cartons full of eggs i know they're not expensive but i don't want to be wasteful so i've got i saved the eggs in this bowl oh can y'all see sort of um and i'm just going to give that as an offering to the earth when i'm done um so i didn't want to do a whole bunch so i'm just going to do this for you know six babies and I'm going to um, keep them in the egg carton and put some moss down and some crystals to help them grow which I will show you in just a second I'm just cutting the egg carton I need a tripod so I can angle y'all so y'all can see what I'm doing I've been saying I'm gonna buy a tripod for like two years now and what happens is I will see a crystal <laughs> or a tarot deck or an oracle deck or something else that I want really really badly and somehow a tripod falls to the bottom of the list so I'm just going to take these eggs out and put them in this bowl I also discovered I need to buy some bowls that are just designated for magical purposes I have a few in my building but I need some for up here so I'm just putting it <coughs> excuse me putting the eggshells in this bowl momentarily and so I've got the empty egg carton and what I thought I would do is just this is just that dried um, Spanish moss that you get at Hobby Lobby or wherever see and I thought I would set some of that in the bottom and make it pretty and then I'm gonna put it all on my altar and put some dirt in the eggs so while I do this I'm gonna be looking down a little bit um, I wanted to talk with y'all a little bit about the Osara ritual that I went to last night. Um, oh gosh, it was just beautiful. Where it was located it was beautiful. Um, the man's house where it was at was, um, his backyard is just, oh my gosh. So many beautiful, sacred, gorgeous things. There's this huge goddess statue and cauldrons everywhere and it was just you know that would have been fine with not even having the ritual just walking around and looking at the beauty of this man's backyard it was it was gorgeous um he had a little gazebo that you could walk down to walk down this trail to and um, what else did he have tons of stuff like a this huge um wind chime that had a pentacle on it and the sun and the moon and um the tricorta symbol um, and there was a really good turnout and the lady who um, did the ritual um, wrote an amazing ritual it was just beautiful um, it was you know obviously about spring and um, the origin of whoo sorry um, of certain things like Christianity stole from pagans like dying of the eggs and she talked a little about that and um, the goddess I want to say I see I've, I've always caught is is it Esther the goddess of Easter um, she talked a little bit about her and um, just a star being the time to plant your seeds and um, really think about what you want to do and it was just a beautiful, um, it was just a beautiful ritual, and I'm so blessed that I got to go. Um, and at the end, you know, the part where, 
and you know they pass around food for um you know where you say may you never hunger and may you never thirst um she had a little easter basket full of these um plastic easter eggs with candy inside and i just thought that was so cute it was just cute as could be and she had this really delicious um herbal herbal tea for for the drink it was just i meant to ask her what it was but i didn't um, so that was my Ostara evening. Um, I would love to hear what y'all did on Ostara. Um, leave me a comment below if you feel like sharing. Okay, so I'm getting there. I'm just filling this um, a carton up with moss. And I want to make the egg rattle too, guys, but I don't know if I'm going to have time, so we'll just have to wait and see. If you see it, it made it into, you know, if I do it, I'll put it in the video, but if I don't, you'll know I just didn't have time to do it. Um, okay, almost there. This stuff is tough. Okay, and you know, if you do this, you don't have to have this. I'm just doing it for aesthetic purposes. I just thought it would look really pretty on the altar. And I'm sure there are other things you could probably sit in there too, like little acorns or um, I'm going to put some crystals in there. You could even sprinkle herbs into it. Um, whatever your heart desires. Okay, gosh, this is really hard. I'm making the biggest mess. Okay, so it's just full. So now... I'm just going to painstakingly, I've got my little pot of dirt, and where are my spoons? Uh-oh. I know I brought, oh, here they are. Um, and magical spoons. I need more magical spoons, too, and I totally want, um, I just drooled over Missy Behex. Um, I think they were Russian wooden hand-painted spoons. If, if I remember, I will link the video in the down bar. They were so beautiful. I really want some of those, but um, this is my magical spoon. I only use this for um, for resins and powdered incense, and I, I'm probably going to have to use it because I, I don't think a big, a big spoon would fit in this little bitty hole, but... Um, I'm on the hunt now, Missy, if you happen to be watching for Magical Spoons when I'm in the thrift store. And I so wanted to um, do the um, tag. She asked for people to show their Magical Spoons, but I only have three, and I didn't think that was quite worthy of a um, VR. But if I ever acquire more, which I hope that I will, I'm putting the intention out there into the universe, um, I will certainly do a VR to her video. Okay, I'm not going to fill these all the way up because I'm not um, dropping the seeds in today. I'm just going to fill them like that far. And when this is all done, since we're at such a weird angle, I will take a picture and insert it into the video so you can get a good, a very good look at the um, at how it looks when it's finished. So I'm just going to set that there. And if you do this, don't I wouldn't try. And this is just me. I wouldn't try to um. A water, I would just use a, uh, a spray bottle to mist your seeds. I wouldn't try to water them in these eggshells. I mean, you could try it, but that's just me. I wouldn't. Okay, let's see. Put some more. Um, my seeds have already been blessed, but I will probably say a little blessing over um, this whole little egg carton. Seeing my jiggy, and I'm just placing these in here. Oh, oh, wrong spoon. That's, you're not a magical spoon. Okay. So, I am totally looking forward. <laughs> Excuse me. My goodness, it's allergies. It's allergy season here in South Carolina. We have really bad um, allergens here where I live. It's, we're like number three or four um, in the country. And I'm actually supposed to be on allergy shots, but my insurance doesn't cover it, and they're super duper expensive. So I just get by on um, generic Zyrtec, 
And I know, I know, we're supposed to look for herbs and stuff like that. And um, I gotta have my generic Zyrtec people. I really wish I could do the herbal route with allergies, but I just, I just can't. I tried a few things, so I'm still filling the eggs. Okay, I've only got two more to go. All right, so I'm probably gonna, let's see, when I finish this at, no, y'all probably wanna see the crystals. Okay, I was gonna turn it off and just show you a picture of what I'm done, but I will show you, I will show you the crystals. All right. Okay, so I have this, I'm so unorganized. I have a few crystals um, that came from the rock mine and, um, in Arkansas, Ron Coleman's rock mine. And I'm just gonna set a few, and all of these crystals, because I was doing this project for witchcraft, and all of these crystals have already been smudged and charged, and, all, and it was just easier to charge the whole basket <laughs> than it was to individually take each one out. I just put the whole basket in my lap. Um, there were a few that I sat with and really um, put my intentions with, but you know, I'm gonna tell y'all, I have, and I, I mean, don't, please don't think I'm complaining because I'm not, I know how lucky and blessed I am to have the amount of crystals that I do. But just as a side note, um, if you do have a lot of crystals or stones or anything that you wanna charge, sometimes, um, or cleanse, you know, you can certainly use um, music. And I don't hear people talk about that a lot um, to cleanse stones. I will find a um, Om video on YouTube or um, Native American flutes, even um, mantras um, for releasing negativity. And sometimes I will just let that, I will carry it, my little tablet, room to room through the house and um, just let that play and of course set your intention that you're you know you're cleansing your stones because it would really take me a long time to individually cleanse each stone okay um I'm gonna stop this well I guess I can hold it up and try to show y'all sorry I'm a little scattered today guys I've got one space oh no it's not gonna work oh here maybe I'm just turning y'all around no, that won't work either. Okay, guys, I'm going to put a picture at the end and show you how this little craft um, looks when it's all finished. If you've made it this far, thank you for um, watching my Rambly O'Star vlog. <laughs> I do appreciate it, and I will see you all very soon. Um, if I do the egg rattle, there'll be a little bit more. If not, well, you'll know. You'll figure it out. Um, a star of blessings, everyone. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hi everybody and y'all thought I was done <laughs> anyway I was watching um, some of the video clips from my vlog and I um, to my great horror on the last vlog saw that I said the goddess of Easter instead of the goddess of Ostara so my apologies there um, I told y'all I was feeling a little scattered today but anyway I just wanted to clarify that I'm totally aware that you know y'all know what I'm trying to say Anyway, so Goddess of Ostara. All right. Bye, everyone.